Okay. Man, this is going to be kind of long and drawn out. Okay. What I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how to create a playlist. Uh, first, we go to the Channel Z website. And uh, we can go there by doing Channel Z search uh, for Channel Z. Or we do c3z.me. You throw that up in your address bar. You come, it come, brings you to this website. You click on this link up here. And uh, never mind the content that's in here. You just hit submit. Then you take this little link, this red thing. You stick it up in your bookmark bar. You edit the link. You change it to say Bruno 24-7. It's the name of it. And then you hit save. So this is going to be a Bruno Mars playlist. And then uh, we click that link. And we select. So there was a, a little button on the right side of that of that window that said select. You click that and then it brings you to this window. Then you left click on the first icon and you drag all the way down to select all of the icons. And uh, then you go down here to the selective delete button that deletes all that content. What that was is that it auto populates the playlist with um, Elvis videos. We don't want Elvis, we want uh, Bruno Mars. Um, on the arrangement screen, there is the option to do a search for content. And so we can go up into this little search uh, entry thing where we can type in Bruno. And notice that it auto populates with the names of popular musicians. Like I could put in here, I could put Van and then start putting H, and it gives me Halen, Hammerstone, Heakin, Holzen. So these are all musicians. So Bruno, Mar, there he is on the list. I click him, and then I do a search. And does a YouTube search. It goes and looks up anything it can embed. It has to play on an embed player. If it doesn't, then it won't show up here. And so we get Feral Wilbums, Happy, and, you know, some for some reason that showed up as long as the Bruno Mars. So we'll say select all that and then add that content. And it pops it right into the playlist. Uh, we want to rename this playlist up here. We want to put up Bruno 24-7. We'll call it. And uh, then we go to, we can go to our playlist directory. Remember, we've got the Bruno thing up here. We can always get back to the playlist. So we just click on playlist directory and it's right, it's in there. It says Bruno 24 seven. We click on that and start playing and it plays something. So there you go. And uh, so, this is like somebody doing a Bruno Mars video uh, cover. Is what it sounded like. So um, I I decided okay. Um, what what uh, I really want is I really want the cream of the crop Bruno Mars, not what I got from a search result. So I go back to the drawing board, back to my playlist, and I select all of this stuff that I just searched and added. And I go down here to the bottom and say selective delete. And uh, then I drag and drop um, from the arrangement screen. There is two bookmarks. This one right here called YouTube image based code sucker bookmarklet. And then another one called channel Z bookmarklet. You drag and drop these into your bookmark bar. They'll show up here at the top. And then you go to your Bruno Mars. You do your Bruno Mars search. I've got this auto search set up. So you do your Bruno Mars search and you go to the filter and you select playlist. And then you select um, the playlist that you want. And you say, uh, hey, I'm going to change my mind. I'm going to do. Uh, Katy Perry, Taylor Swift, Bruno Mars, and all these other guys, you know, 
So you're, you're like thinking on the fly, hey, I'm going to do something different. So let's do the view play full playlist. We get all because we got all this other cool stuff in here. So we're going to do more than Bruno Mars. And I just made that on a whim. That's the way I want you to be able to work is I want you to be able to do what you want to do at any time. So then we uh, we do this. Um, we do a channel Z bookmarklet or actually the image based bookmarklet search. And something you'll notice is right off the bat, it guesses it wrong. So um, let's try it again, see if that works. So you go all, all you have to go all the way to the bottom of the playlist. And then you have to hit YouTube image based search. And it will take a bit longer. And it gets not enough. It gets only it, it only gets some of the videos. And I say, well, that that um, there's got to be a better way of doing this. Um, let's get all the videos again. Go to the bottom of the playlist, and let's this time do the Channel Z bookmarklet. But this is the last case resort. Hopefully, it will work this time. And it takes a bit longer to think about it. And what it's doing now is it's sucking the codes out of the playlist links rather than using the images. The images have um, YouTube codes embedded in them. The um, links for sure will have the codes in them, but um, it's more fun just to rip the codes out of the images. So it's a what you see is what you get sort of mentality. Um, it got everything. Uh, look at that, pretty much everything. So, and we don't want what we don't want the guy that's on the end because he looks boring. So we select, we have it. That always happens with these stupid playlists. The whoever is, creates the playlist says, "Hey, I'll just throw in some of my political uh, taste in at the bottom, so people." And uh, it's 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 unimportant. So we we take it off the playlist, and. Uh, See, they, they, they figure that you really love him if you get to the bottom of his playlist. So that's where he puts his, his uh, politics and stuff. Uh, that's what he really created the playlist for is so that you get to his politics and, and uh, that the, the playlist would proliferate, but it would proliferate with his political views. And, uh, but, uh, so it got everything, so we just say add that content to the channel. And drum roll. Voila. Okay, it throws us into what's called the, um, the video editor. Now in this view, we can change the volume. We can up the volume of everything, just crazy amounts. Because by default, I have it set up at... Uh, a volume of 25. Uh, Channel Z adjusts the volume of every video to be a volume 25 rather than 100. Uh, normally when you play from YouTube it just plays at whatever volume you give it. But in mine um, it autos, it lets you configure that ahead of time so that people can uh, so that all the vol all the videos end up at the right volume or the volume that you prefer. So you could go through each one of these videos, adjust the volume, and then do set videos all the way through. It would take you all day. Um, I'm just going to say adjust playlist loudness, loudness, and this adjusts all of the volumes on every single video. And you can also adjust the start and the end times with these sliders here. Um, I'm just going to say adjust playlist loudness, and then I'm going to up it up it again. Oh. And then I'm going to up it again. And now it's fully blown. Oh. And so I am going to, uh, so it's it's fully as set up. I go back to my arrangement screen. And uh, so I, I can go in here, I can arrange the order of the videos. If I want to see the names of the videos that are there, I hit toggle tooltips. And it will give me a, a layered, it'll show me what each of these videos are. 
and then we can move them around. And then when we're done moving them around, we had to hit, have to hit save order, and that saves the order of the uh, of the playlist. And so this is like the cream of the crop playlist videos. And uh, oh, it's not Bruno Mars anymore. It's Bruno, Katie, and a bunch of other cool, cool, cool musicians. Musicians. So I, I put it. I made it extra long. It doesn't matter. The titles can be just way long. It doesn't matter. So it, I've set that up. You click off on the blue area. It'll save what's in that uh, in that uh, title. And now we've got a. Um, and there's just so many ways to bring in uh, videos. You can also bring them in bring them in from Spotify playlist. Um, it's more complex and but uh if you just want content quick and easy go to and this is the way i do is i just go to youtube i pick a playlist i do what i just did i click that bookmarklet it then sucks in all the videos and throws it in the playlist and i go to go to my playlist directory and it's there katie and a bunch of other cool people i just click it here and uh and it starts playing um, so it'll start playing uh if it's in tv mode it will play whatever um it thinks you should be watching now if the playlist has started sometime in the past 100 years ago and uh uh i, I say that because it really doesn't matter when it started it what when it started actually determines what you're going to see but um it's it's how channel z works now, um, if you want that, you want to put that onto your into alt space. You um, you would then uh, you would then you can drive down um, and get the playlist. Uh, what you do is he. That's a little more complex topic. I don't think I'm going to get into it. But you guys in alt space, I think you know how to from my scripts on Al Space, how to bring playlists in. Um, you should be able to find that name in your uh, selection from the list. And it's now there, because I just created it. And so it, it's the, I, I still have my Bruno 24 seven link up here, but it's now Bruno, Katie, and a bunch of other cool musicians, okay, 24 seven. And uh, then I can shuffle this, playlist say I, I don't like the ordering I can shuffle it several times and I can hit save order and that will save the order of the playlist and now it will play in this order but it will play in TV mode whereas it will just pick a video based upon um, sometime that the video started and you know uh, you know how Channel Z works I won't describe how Channel Z works. It just works the way it works. And there you go. And that's the tutorial.